Hi guys, me guys, that's Brick right here. This another video, and today I'll be doing a crush update video of 2023. So let's dive straight to this video right now. Alright then, so here is guys the brush update of June of 2023. Uh, not much has changed other than a few additions to the collection, but uh. Basically, the reason why I'm not doing any videos for the past few months on this channel is because I've been focusing on my second channel, which is DB Class itself. So basically, that channel, if you guys didn't know, uh, let me just tell you guys a little bit about it. Basically, that channel is uh, me sharing the you guys or the viewers on my second channel about the ins and outs of the car itself and how us how the usability of usability of the car is like how good it is in its trunk space real comfort uh real passenger comfort and basically all the other things you want to know about a real life car itself and how it drives it as just drive itself so hence i didn't post much video on this channel itself but uh let me just tell you guys what are some of the things that been added to my collection the past three months all the past yeah since my last update in march itself so yeah um i've added a kill show Lamborghini Countach and a Kyosho Lamborghini Mirror SV. Reason why I decided to do so is because, uh, hey, since I already have the Diablo right here and the Machado and the Aventador, why not just get the two other older version of the V12 era, which is the Mirror and the Countach. So yeah, hence they are in my collection now. So yeah, um, other than that, you also got, I think I did show this in my previous video. If not, then this is my GD Spirit Lamborghini Diablo Jota Corsa, if I'm not wrong. Basically, it's the even more track uh, version of the Diablo SVR and the Diablo GDR itself. So, yeah. Um, other than that, you also got some small addition like my IV models, uh, Novatech and Lado H12, some of the F1 cars, and also just recently added to the collection, my 1 to 2 scale. 2020, if I can get it correctly, 2022, uh, Carlos Sainz race hammer itself. See, some of the details that I have yet to put on itself. So, yeah. Um, going forward, right, for the rest of this year, I'm not too sure whether will I do a drudge update video for September of 2023, but if I'm not, if I don't do so, then my plans for the rest of this year is, uh, definitely one thing I can definitely confirm I'll be getting is, uh, Otoad Lamborghini Huracan Evo, uh, top speed model, Lamborghini Countach LPI-800-4 and I think I also will be getting the version 2 LB works Lamborghini Huracan itself I think most probably will be the metallic red don't think I'll be getting the matte black cause doesn't want to I don't want to get the same spec itself unless the version 2 Avento is also in the same color but it, uh, I don't know I might uh, change down the road itself so yeah but Anyways, that's all for the Lambo itself. I could be missing out something, but if not, uh, if I'm missing out something, I will definitely will be showing you guys in the unboxing video itself. So yeah, Ferrari-wise, my, my Ferrari collection-wise, what do I have to change? What I've changed itself. So um, that, I have added that, the IV model itself. Um, I think I should tell you guys that I saw my entire Ferrari 118 collection, which is the non-leather-based one itself. Uh, I'll be focusing on the leather-based one and uh less on the non leather base one. So I think in the future there'll be I'll be I have already placed an order for H of Compensione from BBI itself and IB models for eight P star and I could be missing something else but yeah and also I think hopefully if I could by end of this year get my long awaited BBI La Ferry Aperta from BBI itself the styrofoam version one not the le the leather base one. The leather base one if I'm not wrong came out way long ago like it already came out only the styrofoam base one is been delayed for i don't know like four to five years already so finally it, it's been launched by bbr itself so yeah f1 collection wise um i'm getting the last year special edition monza 75th anniversary to the collection and will be placed right on top here and also i'll be getting last year just a regular livery f175 to go alongside the 2020 2021 uh car itself so yeah 2023 most probably will be next year which is 2024 itself so yeah helmet wise um other than my first helmet which is right here i have three more other helmets on order which has all already arrived and soon to come i'll be getting my fourth one which is a 2021 uh charles leclerc helmet from the monaco gp that year itself and it also be going along here plus 
Also, I'll be adding maybe another shelf right here for this Dettol ca uh, case right here. So maybe another shelf, so probably can put around uh, maybe one one shelf this year. Imagine you could put probably eight helmets. So just multiply by four, could be about 32 helmets. So yeah, basically it'll be 32 helmets that I'll be adding to the collection over the years itself. So, but right now I'm just starting out. So yeah. Um, that's all my that's all for my Ferrari collection wise. I could be missing out something like what I mentioned earlier on with the Lambo wise, but if I did miss out, then you can just stay tuned for my unboxing video of it because most probably I'll unbox the model itself. Helmet wise, most probably I'll just keep it and just add it in off camera wise itself. So yeah. Now let's move on to the next part, which is the center piece right here, which is the one day eating scale truck right here. So basically, if you guys notice, this has changed. The reason why it's, it has changed is because I'm selling my BMW M3, which you guys saw I just added this year. My Nora Mercedes S Class with the Maybach trim itself. That also will be on sale. Uh, the Red Star Bentley Mausan or Flying Spoil, I could be wrong. I really don't know much about the Bentley lineup. I, or basically, I can't really identify whether this is a Flying Spoil or a Mausan itself. So, Bentley and Bentley Expert, if you guys know what version, what model it is, do help me out right here itself so yeah and also i'll be selling my Aston martin vanquish itself plus not really a big fan of Aston martin itself so hence i'm selling away plus i've already sold off my dbs super Ledger to my friend itself so why not just sell the vanquish itself so yeah that's all going away uh and the money used from the sales of all these um uh, five models including the mcl 35 and the spark livery sorry in the abu dhabi livery will be used to fund more of my Model cars which will be coming down the road itself. So yeah. And in replacement mice been replaced by the Auto Model Alpha Romeo GDA M, the Moto Helix R34, and the Auto LFA right here. And also my Nora Mercedes Maybach Cabaret S650 Cabaret itself. So yeah. That's been replaced by those models right there is being replaced by all these models right here. So yeah. Um this um sorry, this thing right here. Anything changes that will be coming? Uh, well, I have placed another for an almost real uh, Mercedes Maybach S680, the, of the real one itself, not the fake one, which is right there. Not that. I realize that's a fake uh, S680 or a fake Maybach. It's not really an official Maybach itself. So, yeah. So, basically, that will be coming in the same spec in white to match my 650 and S600 from almost real itself. So, yeah, that will be coming and if you're wondering what the bottom space will be used for, well, most probably I'll shift the, the whole, the Audi lineup down and I'll put the Pagani collection right here where the, all the RS, these two RS6 and RS4 are at the moment itself. So yeah, that's my plan for this TV cabinet right here and I think yeah, that's all, that's all I could say for the time being right now. So yeah, moving on to the post, uh, this cabinet right here which is the OG display cabinet right here for, see day one uh this has been renamed it as my porsche collection so basically this whole thing right here is my uh in the future i'll be holding housing my all oh, my porsche collection right here so yeah mainly 911 gt3 gt3 rs gt3 r gt3 rsr itself and many more itself, and other miscellaneous porsche that i really like a lot so yeah plans for this wise in the future i think incoming i have like what like what i mentioned i think most probably will be the mini champs uh, 996 GT3, which I already have at the moment, so most probably that will be for sale. My 997 uh, GT3 RS and GT3 RS 4 liter that will be coming as well, but most probably I think I will sell that because I really don't like the rear wheel alignment on Mini Champ itself. Somehow it's not really that perfect compared to like previous Mini Champ model, which they did, which are these two right here. I really like this. The payment for this are great, but the upcoming one I feel they mess up a lot, so hence I might be selling everything that i've ordered away and getting the auto art version instead so yeah um also becoming will be my spark gt3r and gt3 rsr in the various livery itself and i could be missing out any i still could be missing out something which i mentioned for my ferrari and lambo collection wise so anything i miss out will be added will be shown in my unboxing video itself so do keep look out for that and that that's all for my Porsche collection wise now let's move on to the smaller Display cabinet right here, if you can call it. So basically, this is my I'm rebuilding my Holy Trinity right here. Only thing missing now is uh, my McLaren P1. If you guys didn't notice, where are my McLarens? Well, I sold my entire McLaren collection away. You might be asking me why. Well, 
I realized I don't really like McLaren after all this while and spending a ton shit of money and now just selling it at one shot. And me also realizing that I have lost a lot of money itself. So yeah. Oh well. Uh, but anyways, it's be, it been replaced with more Porsche, right? So yeah. Anyways, um, I definitely will need to get now McLaren P1 to add it back to the collection to finish up, finish up the Holy Trinity, right? So yeah, that's all. Uh, got my two of my dream cu- dream custom diorama one. Then is the one into eighteen scale drives diorama. One is the one to sixty four mini di- diorama, which is showing us the mini GT uh Pagani Zonda Baketa. Zo- uh, sorry, right there, you're, if you're seeing, have the Zonda Baketa, the Zonda Art Revolution, my Dos Viper ACL, which is to matching the one eighteen scale one, my Kyosho. The Kyosho 1 to 64 scale, um, McLaren MP4 S12C to pay tribute to my ex McLaren 1 to 18 scale one and a mini GT, um, GT2 RS itself in the gold rims itself. So, yeah, other than that, uh, plans for this price, I do have plan to get more 1 to 64, but not that aggressive as my 1 to 18. But on the sideline, I might get it on and off if I like the spec itself. So, yeah, hence I might add it in occasionally, but not that frequently itself. So, yeah. Other than that, I think that's all for this one Josh update video. I could still be missing something, but um, yeah, like what I mentioned, anything that I miss out will be added in the unboxing video itself. So yeah, do keep look out for that. And also, I have I'll be doing a, a review video for I have done a uh so do keep look out for a review vid, a review video of the BMW M3 competition and the Aston Martin Vanquish S. The Mercedes, my, it's not, not Mercedes, my bad. The Mercedes S-Class, the uh, Rasta, Bentley, Maosan, or Flying Spur itself. So that will be coming out alternately every, uh, basically, I think, if I'm not wrong, will be coming out in August and September itself. So do keep look up for that. Other than that, uh, I think that's all I have to say for this video itself. Um, basically, to sum up what I've just said, basically, there's quite a lot of tasks that will be coming Hopefully, with the second half of this year itself, like what I mentioned, the Auto Art, Huracan Evo, the Lamborghini Countach, LPI-800-4, my BBR at Ferrari F175, and yeah, many more models itself, which I probably couldn't remember at the moment, but it'll be definitely will be an unboxing video of all these models that, that I have just said. And yeah, I've forgotten to mention, will be the Lamborghini Countach, 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 other than that, that's all I say for this video itself. If you guys enjoy the video itself, don't forget to click the subscribe button down right below to see more videos like this. And also don't forget to fo- uh, follow me on Instagram at DieCastBreak and on DBCard itself. But with that, uh, click here to subscribe, click here to subscribe my channel and click here to see my two other videos. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh.